Now look at the properties, analysis properties, go to output, modification indices, yes greater than 4, you can increase it to let's say 10. For now let's leave it to 4 as default. There is no OK button, you just press cross and the selection is saved. Now you click calculate estimates. Now here are your results. It looks So let's go to modification indices and look here, covariances, modification indices. So it's, look at this one, E11 in E12. Well, this is way over the 4 mark. This is 74. So let's draw a covariance between E11, E12. Let's finish it. Let's go to our view input model. And click here, E11 and E12. Just drag the covariance from E11 and put it onto E12. Now let's rerun the model. Let's look at the output. Let's look at the model fit. Well, it did improve, but not that much. So let's go back to modification indices. So E10 and E11. We cannot draw this E10 and SL. We can draw E7 and E11. Let's have a look. But for now, let's look at E10 and E11. E8 and E11. Where is E10, 11? and E811. Let's run the model. Look at the model fit. Well, yes, it's closing. Improved. Still quite a long way to go for AGFI. Modification indices. Look at this one. E6, E10. E5, E8. E4, E5. Can we draw between E5, E8? No, we cannot because E5 is with SL and E8 is with FP. E4, E5. Let's run the model. Look at the output. Model fit. Well, yes, this has improved. Look at the modification indices. Anything that we can do? 7, 11. Let's, uh, actually, let's do it like this. Can we do E5, E8? No, we can't. Can we do E5, E11? No, we can't. E6, E10? No, we can't. Look at the bigger ones, E2, E11, E2, E10, no, not possible. E1, E2 and E1, E5 is possible. So let's do E1, E2, E1, E2, E1, E5. Let's run the model. Look at this, it's improving. Look at the output, model fit here. Well, it's approaching 5. This one is good. 